What is up people, welcome back. So usually I like to dodge when we have two or more AP champions in the team because magic resistance is just broken right now. So if you look at the Tinkom, that is pretty OP, not sure. That AD carry Twisted Fate. And Ash support, so they have a lot of CC, that's why I went for Tenacity. Usually I like to do double Tenacity, but I only do that on Kassadin if I have Precision 3 as the primary. In this case I have first strike. Actually Kongro would have been really good here as well because that is Brusa Kane. But you don't know that until you're in game, like if he's going Brusa or not. You can guess but he could e easily switch it up. So the issue we have here is that because we have double AP, Aurelia is going to get away with building Witsend, right? So that's the problem having so many magic dealers on the team. I usually dodge it, but let's see how it goes this time. Uh, don't ask me why I queued that one. Misclick. So that is Ignite Aurelia. It's also a very hard matchup. And this guy also has bone plating, so we are not really looking to trade at all. He's just a AFK farming lane. Compared to like other matchups like the mages, you can actually go for short trades and stuff, but into Aurelia, no. Even if you get an even trade out, the issue is that she has so much sustain that she's gonna get all that HP back after a wave. She's trying to body block, or like... Height. The cannon minion something? That's pretty interesting. You try to like stay right on top of it, I think. Oh, she's up here, okay. Stay far away from low HP minions and focus everything on dodging that E. Because if you are playing Kassadin before level 6 and you get hit by that E, you're gonna lose your flash or he might actually kill you if you are not close to a tower. You could actually go, what's it called, frozen hard this game. I will be doing that but probably later on in the game. If I like end up being full build somehow this game, I'm gonna sell the boots and then go frozen hard. I've done that every single time I got like into super late game. It's so fun watching like heavy attack speed champions trying to deal with the frozen heart. You might be roaming top. Oh yo, wrong way, wrong way, don't go that way please. An enemy has been slain. Okay, he's out, great. I think Aurelia was trying to flank, no? What did she reset? That is also a possibility. Yeah, she was trying to flank, so good thing he did not decide to go down the river here. Okay, she keeps pushing. It's also similar to like Yasuo. Like Yasuo matchup is a lot easier in my opinion, but it's similar in the way that they spam one ability so you get your E stacked up all the time. Right, let's peace out. Because they have so much AD, I think I'll just go straight for the Seeker Samgat. And then we sell this and get the refillable, we also have the biscuits. I'm not gonna buy the control ward here because Kassadin in level 6 you are pretty safe and it's also Kane, like hard to gank. He has a hard time ganking a Kassadin with his ultimate up. Especially before he gets this home. Oh my god. Oh she got level 6. Like, I would have went all in otherwise. Oh, Viego. Yo, what, what way is he coming in from? Is it because of the TF? 
Oh, there are three people here. I don't think we want to mess with it. He's gonna die. He went a little bit too ham. Who do they have on the same Hoku Kang right now? It's only the um, Kane, right? But that is extra worth it. Do you know why as well, guys? This item. Siga Sangat. OP. This is the reason I survived and also got the kill, instead of us trading one for one. Like she would have died no matter what. But the only reason I actually survived that fight was because of that one item right there. So I'll go ahead and wait for... Yeah, let's wait for the M-Tome. She's gonna show that in insanely fast though. So the fact that she died right here, that's so bad for them. That is so bad. That's gonna help me snowball really fast. And I'll have a Yumi. If I get fed, I'm gonna have a Yumi on me as well. I feel a little bit rusty. My first game today. The CS thing is not quite on point, but we are pretty much even, so I'm not complaining. I could go for trade and then take this root. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. If Kane is here, it's gonna be a little bit doomed. Nice. Great. That's why you have to time the summoners. That's why Viego also flashed. And if you don't time summoners and stuff, your jungle is not going to know when they can actually commit, like go complete all in and get the kill. I get, I think I get to skill up. I could go for Landris here, but Crown, yeah, Crown seems a bit better. Go for it. I'll go for the plate. Your W does not work on the towers. But you just use it as an auto attack reset. So you like use one auto attack and then immediately W. So your auto attacks come out a lot faster. I could reset, but you don't want to reset when it's a normal wave against Aurelia because she just W's and then Q one shots the entire wave. And if I reset, she's gonna get this plate, so we don't want that. I just him. Kane might be here with the Aurelia. Let's check. Oh, she's dead. Nice. Did uh, Twitch just flash for it? Oh, he, I guess he wanted the kill. We have the Herald. Okay, let's go. Let's go for it. Ah, oh, bro. Bruh. Oh, if I had flash up, man. That's fire. Oh, did I get ignited? What? Got flash for it? Uh, I don't think it's worth a die for it. We can go for the ash. Oh, they are so mad. This is why, like, he counter picked. I first picked Cassidy. I do that every single time, like. The last couple of games, every single time I was first pick, so I just first pick it. I don't care about the counter matchups. So they intentionally try to counter pick. And when they lose, they get so tilted. 
Honestly, it serves them right. Like, why do you pick a champion just to counter pick? Like, stick to a champion you're good at, you know? Like, people become so mad. Like, against the Cassidy, and you counter pick and you lose, and they give up. Well, I have the crown afterwards. Oh, that's a cane. The bot lane. The reason I did not dodge here. I don't dodge because of like my matchups being bad or something, but it's more if I get a really bad seam comp. The reason I did not do that here. Because I got the castle in, but also because I have a Yumi with me. So my late game is going to be even more OP. As strong as it possibly could be. With a Yumi. Max Aurelia, okay. In my room top, so I'll just shove it in so she doesn't go. She probably takes a long way around now. I can get this, just need to reset. If Botlane can get the tower, then it's a lot better. This matchup is like, you never actually win in a one versus one in the lane. Right, I'll just take the tower then. I can get the last plate. He's gonna be even more mad now. I want that last bit of gold. Problem with ganging Mordecai is that he can just ult somebody, right? So it's going to be a guaranteed one versus one. So if he's fed and you you should definitely not be trying to gank him. When his ultimate is up. But I missed actually. I actually missed. I'm so tempted to dive dash. And she denied me the first tower, they got a top side. I do enjoy playing against Ash. Like, I'm so tired of getting that on my team. Every single time I have it, they just permanent. What it is good for though is poking, and you also do not have any cooldown on the ultimate, so you can just spam it in the mid game. Ah, uh, what? I hope somebody's getting anti-healing. They actually have a lot of healers. The solo lanes and the jungler. I'll go bot. And then I can let Twitch farm mid lane. I have to defend. Guitar with a bounty, and also keep in mind I had Twisted Fae bot. Who could TP in? They don't have to FF though, because Nasus is pretty strong. But we have a switch and cast it with a Yumi. Oh, what? <laughs> you probably did not expect that one to be warded. But I'll take it, man. I'll take it. He's not worth anything, but... It's good for the KDA, you know? Four stacked ultimate, need to let it run out. He just heals for a lot. And then he also has the red smite, so we don't really win when we are this low on mana.
get the Archangels and then usually I go for Void Staff from now on because at this point they should be starting to get some magic resistance. I just TP bot. Push this out and then we go for the rig. When it do does spawn. There's nobody defending mid. Team. Uh team. Okay, they're coming. Naz is really strong. Like he's super strong. I know he was trying to take out first strike as well as the shield, so I just went then. Like if he has his ultimate up, I'm not killing him. So we're just getting out. It's like he has Divine Sandra, so every single Q is going to be a empowered Sheen proc. They could wait for me to ult in and then he just goes all in. He ghost. He did have it up. Ash ultimate coming in? Oh no? No it is not. That's somebody else. I'm not staying here. I don't like to hold with a full stack one, but I think it's fine in this case. Save for another wave. Alright, let's get out. Why, why is it talking about a TF only? What about the Aurelia, bro? Zero and seven. Well, he's getting clapped. And my character stopped moving for some reason. And Cassidy with Yumi late game is so fun. You just go in one versus five. Don't care about the CC or anything because she has Mikael's. So you just go ham. It feels like having an empowered Sonya Sourglass. Except for the fact that having Yumi is like permanent buff. Instead of just one time use per minute. Oh, oh, whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Happening top. Counter Pigger, speed running it. It's every single time they pick just a counter pick, this always happens. And they get so tilted. When they lose the Magia 1 versus 1, they got so mad. Not sure why he's defending, cut it's over. It's over bro. I'll take it then. Let's go ahead and end.
Wow. Actually survived. Thanking the Empower Towers. They buffed and he actually survived with a Yumi. Yep, Viego. How did he take how did he take damage? Did he hit somebody with a Q or something? Why are they defending? I'll get him. Let me get him. Well, it's over. Just doing for the KDA at this point. Let's TP back and end the game. And GG's.